Welcome back guys, this is Agro Slade Black Mage, and we're back with we Halo Combat Evolved. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Hopefully you guys are having a good day. We're getting to the juicy part of this game. Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, really? Cortana. I've spent the last 12 hours cooped up in here watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the flood. Which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impertinence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good idea? <laughs> how, how dare you? I'll... Do what? I have the Index. You can just float and sputter. <laughs> Enough! The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Well... Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Bring him. Look out. Shotgun. Well, that went well. Look out. It was like none of the shots hit him. Look out. Oh, strike one. Strike two. Strike three. Strike four. You're out. Eh, I love that title. Gun pointing at the head of the universe. We can't let the monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. 
An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm actually going to let them have this fight out. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant battle net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. And I'm back with the annoying guys. Honestly, I think most of my deaths have been to the jackals. Elites and hunters being close ties. Uh, I feel right at home. So yeah, seeing that whole little part go down, that always was cool to me as a kid because it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me what I thought has been good has actually been a bad thing, and you're now telling me this? It's good. Oh, come on. You know, you would think with all that piercing weaponry, that would kill him. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the monitor or his sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. How did I die? The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but where that arrow's pointed, we need something to fly. Oh, great. I know I saw that. Come on. I know you're coming up here. Oh wow, he did not come up here. I hate needlers. Same time, I enjoy them. This pole trifle, however, is a different matter. So, where would I get a banshee?
Dang it, I was hoping that'd kill him. This is a route we did not take to come up here. I might have to trade in the shotgun. If I start seeing more flood, then I'm going to be sad that I traded in. You had a needler, why didn't you shoot? Oh, I am taking that needler. He's dead. He's dead. And I'm going to keep moving. Well, that was easy. Ooh, there's my ride. There's some health over there, I'll take that. Oh, I have a bad feeling already. Oh, that's right, because music start. Oh, there's flood. Oh. Well, they're not going to commandeer one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator in time. Let's be honest, I'm not being the most e Oh! That's a slam dunk. Well. How'd I die? Alright, let's just run for it. Wait, we should commandeer one of those banshees. We'll need it to reach the pulse generator. Oh, I cannot just run for it. That's not good. Well, that actually came in handy. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm gonna be upset if that Wraith actually gets a lucky hit.
Wow! He survived an up close and personal encounter with my shotgun! I'm amazed. Alright. Wow, two direct hits. And three. Wow. Talk about a screw up there. Oh, I think that was overkill for a grunt. You survived that. I give you credit. I don't give you credit anymore. You did not survive. Well, that. I wish I had a sprint function. Good. Let's get moving. The nav point marks our target. Okay, do we have anything up here? I'm just seeing, can I find a health pack quickly? bodies go uh, I won't question it I just want to buzz these guys till they're dead oh he's dead oh jeez that banshee's taking too much damage There we go. Now I'm happy. I remember at the beginning of this series, a banshee tried to do that to me so many times. I just want my revenge. Oh gosh! How are they up there without banshee? I wish this was Halo 2, you could do tricks to get up higher and quicker. Well, he took a long walk off of a short pier. No, no. Well, that happened. Sadly, that's where we're going to have to end today's episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This has been Battle Slade, Black Mage. Story's getting interesting now. And I'll see you guys around the bend.